Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to make a creamy cauliflower cheddar soup. Absolutely delicious for these fall days that are just around the corner. The ingredients you're going to need for this soup is one medium head of cauliflower. Make sure your cauliflower is lovely white with no brown or dark spots on it and your leaves are an emerald green. You're going to need three cups of low sodium chicken broth, one cup of white cheddar cheese shredded, this is about four ounces, one tablespoon of olive oil, one medium Vidalia onion, one celery stock, three cloves of garlic, one potato, one half teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper, two tablespoons of butter, and one cup of milk. Now, let me show you how we're gonna dice the onions and the celery. Take a chef's knife, and we're just gonna cut the celery stock in half, and you're going to dice it into pieces. Now for the onion, we're just gonna remove the ends. Disregard that, and then you're gonna remove this end. You're going to take the couple of outside layers off. You may want to take your knife and get to that first layer of onion and it's going to peel right off for you. Okay, just like that. And now we're going to chop it in half and you're going to lie this on its side and we're going to chop into it. And again, this doesn't need to be perfect because it's also going to be blended later on with our cauliflower. Add your oil to a heavy bottom saucepan or a Dutch oven and we're going to add the celery and the onions and we're going to whisk it around and turn our temperature down to medium low and we're going to let this sweat for the next five to six minutes. To prepare the potato we're just going to cut it in half, cut in the center so you're going to cut it in quarters. We're going to dice it about one inches. This goes in with the celery and the onion sauteing. Use your timer. Make sure you don't go over six minutes when you're sweating your vegetables here. To prepare the cauliflower, cut down the center, just like this. You're going to remove your leaves. You really don't need to move, remove the inside, but I like to cut a little off around the edge because I don't want any tough parts of the cauliflower in with my soup. Let me get that off. Cauliflower is a cruciferous vegetable. It belongs in the broccoli and bok choy vegetable group. And now we're just going to cut it down like this. So we can add it to our vegetables that are sauteing and those onions and celery. Woo, they smell so fantastic. This cauliflower is part of one of the most healthiest foods. It helps in digestive. It's very good for your digestive system. It's good for your skeletal system. Keeps your bones strong. It's high in fiber. I mean, cauliflower has some fabulous benefits of good health and I highly recommend it to anyone. I'm going to try to leave as much as the stock on as possible because that's also very um, healthy for you. This cauliflower is high in antioxidants. Oh yeah, and look how much fabulous cauliflower we're going to have going into that pot of creamy cauliflower cheddar soup. Oh yeah, this goes in with the onion, celery, and potatoes sauteing. I'm adding my salt and pepper. I believe in adding my salt and pepper as my soup's cooked because it'll season all the vegetables. And we're going to add all of our fabulous cauliflower in here. Add that chicken broth. And we're going to add the garlic. Very simple. And we're going to get it in here and we're going to bring it to a boil. So we're going to turn our heat up to medium high. The soup's come to a boil. I'm going to turn it down to medium. I'm going to cover it with a tight fitting lid and no picking for the next 20 minutes. Use your timer. 20 minutes are up and here's our soup. I'm going to turn off the timer. As you can see that cauliflower and potatoes have cooked and that garlic is just going to melt right into this soup. Right here I've got a potato. As you can see it just mashes very nicely up against the side of the pot there. Remove this off the heat. Whoops and I got a little steam going on. And we're going to let this cool for 15 minutes. I'm adding my soup to a blender. And we're going to go ahead and put the top on. You're going to put a little pressure on it. And you're going to start to puree it. That will ensure lots of creaminess. And as you can see, there we go. And I'm going to pour it right here in this bowl until we continue pureeing the rest of our cauliflower, onions, and celery. You're just going to add the rest in here and continue doing it. 
until it's all pureed. We're going to add the second batch of our pureed creamy cauliflower soup right back into the pot that we made it in. And you're going to add all of it back in here. This goes back over to the heat on medium low. Add the cup of milk, and I've let the milk set out for about 15 minutes, so it could be almost a little bit at room temperature. And we're gonna start whisking this around. And then we're going to add our lovely cheddared white cheese in just a little bit at a time until we get it lovely and smooth like velvet. This is a win-win soup, and believe me, everyone's gonna love it. And you're probably wondering why I added that potato. Well, as that potato cooks along with the cauliflower, it's going to blend right in, and it's going to release starches and give a natural thickness to our creamy cauliflower cheddar soup. Beautiful, silky, smooth. Just look at it, how beautiful it is. And always remember to taste your soups to make sure they have enough seasoning. Mmm, absolutely perfect. It's time to ladle it in a bowl. Look how creamy and velvety that is. Oh my, I am thrilled to dig in. I'm going to garnish the top with a little Kobe cheese, a couple of croutons, and a sprinkles of parsley, fresh parsley. I think that absolutely looks beautiful. A must try. Oh, yes. Oh, yummy. Mmm. Tastes like a creamy potato soup. If you want your kids to eat their cruciferous vegetables, this is the soup to make for them. Mmm. If you're looking for one of the healthiest soups you can eat, this is a must try y'all. Creamy, delicious, full of flavor, absolutely fantastic. Give me thumbs up here on YouTube or Instagram. Leave me a comment below. Thanks a million y'all for watching and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.